Hey Fam Bam! VM here. And AM is obviously. Where is AM? I'm right here. <laughs> so AM is behind the camera and we will be making the most requested. The Pinak most. <laughs> Pinak bet. The recipe that we're using today is. We have some. One. Aubergine. One aubergine over here. It's in water so that it doesn't go brown. And then we have some six cloves of garlic and one medium onion. And AM will be really, really handful if she gets me the meat oh. <laughs> by the sink. Um, we have some bitter melon as well over here, about three pieces, small ones. And we also have our belly pork over here, fam bam. This is about 720 grams. But we're gonna link all the recipe down on the description. Well, we got some you how much you squash. Want it, really, right? Is this squash, right? Yes. Yeah, we got some half a squash. Um, you can add more if you want. And we've got some okra over here, and some string beans or beans. It's supposed to be string beans, but we've only got um, beans. And we got obviously for the taste, salt and pepper, and the amazing, amazing. Bago Ong. This is um, shrimp paste from Palawan. Palawan shrimp paste. So, without further ado, fun bump, we are now going to start cooking. Let's go. Just gonna pour up everything here. The first thing that we're going to do is obviously put our cooking pot over here. And I'm gonna try to get the lid out. <laughs> There we go, sorry about the noise. And we're gonna turn this on. Here we go. And we're gonna need um, one tablespoon of oil, which is my assistant will be kindly enough to get it for me. There we go. So we're gonna use this um, extra, it's, it's it's called Olio Extra Virgin di Oliva. It's from Italy, fam bam. Extra virgin olive oil. So what we're gonna it's do... Not, it's not that we can't, we can't buy olive oil. <laughs> yeah, we just got it because it's, come on. Italian olive oil is always good. So we're gonna use one tablespoon of um, oil over here. So that we can saute our garlic and onion. There we go. We just let that heat up a little bit. So now fam bam, that's a little bit hot now, where we want it. And we're now going to put in our garlic. There we go. Get this brown a little bit. I love this pan fam bam. This wok is amazing. There we go. We're in the kitchen today, by the way. Get this a little bit brown. I'm just gonna lower down the heat a little bit. There we go. You can see it. And then our onion. Get this a little bit translucent. This is the second time of me making bakbet, peanut bet. There we go, fam bam. We're now going to put in our pork. Yeah. Can you just use any pork or you can use different kind of meat? You can use any pork that you want. But this peanut bet is mainly with pork. But today, we are making it special with a little bit of prawns. Did you know that AM? That's a surprise that I didn't put in. Mm. There you go. We're just gonna get this a little bit cooked up. Bam bam. Slowing down the heat a little bit. So now, bam bam, it's been cooking up for like three to five minutes, and the meat has gone cooked up a little bit more 
So fam, we're now going to add in a little bit of salt and pepper on this one. So I have a half a teaspoon over here, but we're going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon first. So that's half of a half a teaspoon. This, I'll take it as a quarter, right? And then now we're going to add in our right, quarter of pepper. There we go. Just going to mix this up a little bit and then we're going to add in all of our vegetables. So cooking this won't go above 45 minutes or um, 40 minutes, so possibly about half an hour. So just adding that in there. We're now going to add in our vegetables. This is how easy it is, Bum Bum. I'll tell you what. Yeah, we're going to add in this one. Oops. We're going to add in the squash first because the squash... I slice the squash thinly. There we go. So that it's easier to cook. Let's add them all in there. And we're going to need um, half a cup of water on this one. Baby, can you get me water, please? Yeah. Thank you. There we go. Because we cut up, I, we cut up the squash a little bit thin. It's going to cook up really, really quick. So we're going to add in half a cup of water. And then we're going to put in our bagoon. There we go, fam bam. That's half a cup of water going in. And then our bagoong. There we go. Just putting in the bagoong. To be honest with you, um, you can cook this without the bagoong if, you, if you're allergic to shrimp, um, shrimp paste. That's fine. But it's just gonna give it that um, pinak bit flavor, which is the bagoong is the most important part of it. There we go. We're gonna let this cook up for possibly two to three minutes, and then we're gonna add the rest of the vegetables in here, and then that's it. We're just gonna let it cook and have a little bit of taste later we're probably gonna add a little bit more a little bit more salt and pepper on it but that's pretty much it we're just gonna cover this with the lid and that's how easy it is to cook peanut bread fam bam cool and now fam bam look it's been cooking for like two minutes now and because we don't want um the squash to be really really mushed up we're now gonna put in all of the vegetables the first thing we're going to put in is the okra underneath. There we go. So we're going to add our shrimp. There we go. Those are massive shrimp as well. It's not so special with the shrimp. I know. And now we're gonna put in our bitter melon, which is AM's favorite. <coughs> Not. Ooh, sprinkle all of it. See? And of course, the aubergine. I've chopped this up thinly as well. There we go, so that it's easier to cook that's it and of course our beans and then we're gonna add the rest of the salt and the pepper and then that's it, we're done. So we're just gonna add another, I like quarter 
of a teaspoon because the the shrimp paste has salt saltiness in it already so we just we've used up about half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper there we go that's it fam man. all you have to do now is wait for all of this to cook just gonna cover it up with a lid in the next five to ten minutes we're going to eat and i'm going to show you guys the final product of this one here we go fam bam i'm just gonna stir this up now it's been cooking for like two minutes and we're gonna stir it up so that the vegetables can go underneath Woo. wow check that up check that prawns out fam Woohoo! and we like our calabasa really really soft hence the why we put it in first but normally you can just put them all in at the same time and depending how you cut them up as well oh my god this looks so good we're gonna have a little bit of taste as well go so I'm gonna use this one Mmm. Get AM to taste it. Here we go, AM. So AM's gonna taste it, fam. <laughs> you do I. Sorry. Mm. I like it. Thank you, man. That's it, fam. Next ten minutes, on a five to ten minutes, we're gonna eat. This is our version of pinak bet with shrimp. You can only do it with, with pork, but we had it with shrimp because we had some available on the side. Yeah, we're gonna wait for this to cook. So fun bam. This is now cooked. We're gonna turn it off now. And I'm gonna show you the final product. Here we go. Woohoo! That's amazing. So AM and I are now going to eat. So make sure you go to the other video after this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, hit that like button and share this video if you want it, just to share the love to everybody that you know. And also hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified whenever we upload a video like this. And thank you so much for tuning in with us today and hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. A peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.